find sin x by 2, cos x by 2 and tan x by 2 if cos x is given as minus 1 by 3 and we also know that x is in quadrant 3. We have been given that x is in quadrant 3 and cos x is minus 1 by 3. We have to find out sin x by 2, cos x by 2 and tan x by 2. First let us write down the formulas what is sin x by 2 formula? sin x by 2 is square root of 1 minus cos x divided by 2. How this formula is derived? We have cos 2x equals to 1 minus 2 sin square x. That means cos x is 1 minus 2 sin square x by 2. From that we got that. Similarly, we also know that cos x by 2 equals to square root of 1 plus cos x divided by 2. Again this formula is derived from cos 2x equals to 2 cos square x minus 1. Now that will give us that cos x is square root of 1 plus cos 2x by 2. If we go to the next level we get cos x by 2 is square root of 1 plus cos x by 2. Now what is tan x by 2? For that we do not need any formula. We can directly write down that is sin x by 2 divided by cos x by 2. Now x is given that it is in third quadrant. So can we say that 3 pi by 2 third quadrant is 180 to 270 so pi less than x less than 3 pi by 2 that means pi by 2 is less than x by 2 is less than 3 pi by 4 so we have to understand that if x is in third quadrant x by 2 will be in second quadrant because this is 90 less than x by 2 less than 135 degrees that means x by 2 is in second quadrant. Since x by 2 is in second quadrant, sin x by 2 will be positive, cos x by 2 will be negative and tan x by 2 also will be negative. Now let us substitute the values. We have first for the sin x by 2 that is square root of 1 minus cos x that is 1 minus of minus 1 by 3 that is 1 plus 1 by 3 by 2 which is nothing but square root of 4 by 6 which is square root of 2 by 3 which is root 6 by 3 by multiplying with root 3 both numerator and denominator. Now let us see what is cos x by 2 that is square root of 1 plus cos x by 2 that is 1 minus 1 by 3 divided by 2 that is square root of 2 by 3 into 1 by 2 which is 1 by root 3 or can we say root 3 by 3 and since we know that cos x by 2 is negative so this will be minus of root 3 by 3 then let us go to tan x by 2 that is also negative we can also see that by sin x by 2 divided by cos x by 2. So we have root 6 divided by 3 divided by minus root 3 divided by 3 which is equals to minus root 2. Now once we got the sin x by 2 we can also get the cos x by 2 tan x by 2 by drawing the triangle that way also we can do. Let me show you how we can do that. We can draw the triangle for x by 2 because we know that sin x by 2 is root 6 by 3. So this is root 6, this is 3. By Pythagoras theorem, we can see that this is root 3 and we have x by 2 which is in second quadrant so this will be negative this will be positive and this will be positive now that's how also you can find out
of sin x by 2, cos x by 2 and tan x by 2.